how to use some if function in microsoft excel hello everyone welcome to excel 10 tutorial in this function explain video series i'm going to explain the sum if function in microsoft excel i'm going to talk about the parameters and i'm going to talk about how you can write the criteria based on which the sum if function will work and let's get started <laughs> The best way to learn a function is to apply it and I'm going to apply the sum if function here and while I'm applying I will explain the details and you will understand how sum if function works okay we are going to use sum if function to calculate values here so I want to categorize this sales okay so if I want to find out the total sale of website and if I select the criteria as a website and I want to find out the total sales of websites okay so let's use it and I hope you will understand so in the value part I'm going to write the sum if function and remember I'm going to add the criteria here whatever I add it here it will sum the value based on that criteria so write equal to and then sum it and you can see it's already suggesting so sum if you can see here add the sales specified by a given condition or criteria that means the sales will be added or you can add all the sales that meets the criteria or condition you specify okay so i am selecting sum if and first is asking for the range of your criteria okay so range of criteria if i select this so this is the range if i write here website or if i specify the criteria as website it is going to find out that cell in this data range okay so this is our range of criteria or criteria range so our range is selected now if i press comma and the next part is criteria or the condition that means if i write here something or if i specify another cell where i'm going to write the criteria so the idea is to write something that is already inside this data range okay and i'm going to make it dynamic so i'm going to select a data range here so if i write something here in our criteria it will give me the result of total sales of that category so select it and if i close it our criteria range is ready and our criteria is also ready and now it's asking for the sum range that means the value range okay so if I select this so this is the sum range and if I close parenthesis and press enter you can see it doesn't shows anything because I haven't set anything inside the criteria you can see this is the criteria cell okay so if I select any criteria here in the drop down I have created the drop down already if you want to learn how you can add a drop down in Microsoft Excel check out this tutorial now if I select website you can see it has added the total website sale price okay so if I change the criteria to app so this is our total app sales price okay and if I select software so this is our total software sales so in this way you can find out specific numbers based on criteria and all of them are already added or ready for you and you use some if function for this and sometimes we need to add different criteria or more than one criteria to find out our value so in the next tutorial I am going to talk about that and that will be the sum if s function okay thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe if you can support the channel through patreon thanks for watching